What's going on, Powertrain On Demand? My name is Sean. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on legs and uh, core. All right, so really going to uh, attack those lower extremities. So supplies we need for the workout. Um, first thing, anything to elevate up your heels. All right, so if you guys have a step in your in your house, feel free to put your heels up on the step, or if you have a little box, that'll work great as well. All right, so for me, I have some dumbbells. Gonna use that to elevate the heels. All right, second thing we'll need is a mat. All right, something comfortable to lay on, and uh, again, some dumbbells to hold, okay? First one we got is a heels elevated dumbbell squat. All right, the goal and the focus on this one is to work the quads. All right, so we're gonna go down, 10 second ISO, back into the squat. 10, nine, eight, good, hugging the chest. Seven, six, five, four, feel the burn, three, Two and one. Here we go. This is where it gets tough. Not going all the way up. Keep a nice bend in the knees. Good. Two. Constant tension, constant burn on the quads. Three. Four. You got this, guys. Come on. Mind strong. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Here we go. Last two. Nine. And 10, shake out the legs, there we go. All right guys, so after the tension squat, we're gonna target the hamstrings, all right? So you always wanna focus on keeping your muscles balanced. All right, if you're too quad dominant, typically you're gonna end up with some knee pain. Um, so really trying to focus on balancing out um, by attacking the hamstrings as well. All right, so good hamstring exercise. You get to get comfy laying down on the ground. All right, we got a mat here. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working one leg at a time. All right, it's really gonna isolate it if you have any muscular imbalances in your body. All right, by working single leg, it's gonna really isolate and uh, try to fix those imbalances. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna pretty much try to get a 90 degree knee bend in the leg that we're gonna work. So I'm gonna work my right leg first, focusing on flexing that toe up, all right, or just keeping weight onto the, the heel. All right, so just really focusing on not getting weight on the toes, driving to the heel. Opposite leg, we're gonna keep it straight, in line with the opposite knee that you're working. All right, and then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push your hips up, as high as you can, keeping the knee straight ahead, and you're really gonna feel that hitting the hamstring and glute. All right, so we're gonna do a 10 second ISO, followed up by 10 reps per leg. All right, here we go, let's work. Hips up, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, fire in that glute, seven, six, five, four, my leg's shaking, three, two, and one. So your butt drops back down to the ground, now just focusing on levering up the hips. There's one, good, two, Three, four, oh yeah, come on. Five, six, little burn, little pain, no gain. Come on, seven, eight, nine, one more. And good, so we hit the right leg. All right, now we're gonna transition into the left. Here we go, ready? Again, nine degree knee bend, 10 second ISO, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven. If you wanna make it harder, hug your chest just like I'm doing, six, five, Four, three, two, and down. Here we go, 10 reps. Through the heel, one, two, back down. Little squeeze, two, three. Got the dumbbells hitting me in the head, here we go. Four, five, lever in the hips. Six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and 10. Perfect, good right there. All right, so we'll take a quick breather. Um, if you did feel like one side was harder than the other, typically that's good, that's pretty normal. Um, it just really means that you gotta focus on that opposite side that was uh, not firing as good. All right, so second, or right, back to our first exercise. Second set, we're going back into heels elevated tension squats, all right? This set, if it was easy last time, feel free to grab some weights. Or again, just really focusing on, you know, increasing the repetitions or controlling that eccentric portion. All right, so we're gonna go down, 10 second ISO, back into the squat. 10, nine, eight, good, hugging the chest. Seven, six, five, four, feel the burn. Three, two, and one. Here we go, this is where it gets tough. Not going all the way up, keep a nice bend in the knees. Good, two, constant tension, constant burn on the quads. Three, four, you got this, guys. Come on, mind strong. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Last two. Nine, 
and 10. Shake out the legs. There we go. Which one is harder for you guys? I know for me, I'm definitely quad dominant. Got to work on my hamstring. So here we go. Round two, single leg floor hip up. See what you guys are made of. All right, again, straight leg, 90 degree knee bend, pushing through the heel. All right, by hugging the chest, it's going to challenge your obliques to stabilize. All right, so when you, if you're struggling with that part, feel free to extend your arms, and that's going to give you some balance. All right, here we go. Ready? And 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we got reps. Here we go. Let's get it, baby. One, two, back down. Two, two, straight down. A little hold. There's three, four, five. Oh, man. Getting tired. Six, seven. Keep fighting. You got this. Eight, nine. One more rep. And ten. Excellent, guys. Good work. All right, quick little breather. Hitting the opposite leg. All right, all right, again, 90 degree knee bend, toe flex, last set of floor hip ups. Let's get it, guys. Ready and up. 10 second iso, hold it. Whew. Here we go. Hips up as high as you can. Come on, butt off the ground. Final three, two, and one. All right, 10 reps, let's go. There's one. We're doing it together. No failing. Two, three, four. Tell your mind you can keep going. Come on, five. Six, seven, keep working guys, almost there. Eight, last two, nine, and that is all she wrote on those guys, good. All right, so today I'm just gonna do two sets of each of the exercises. If you wanna come back and make it harder, you know, you can add an extra set in there. All right, challenge yourself with more volume. All right, second thing we got, all right, moving on to the next portion, we're gonna transition to a reverse lunge into a squat and do an opposite leg reverse lunge. So it's gonna flow very nice. All right, so you're gonna do one leg, you're gonna step back. All right, bring it back to the middle, you're gonna squat, and then you're gonna switch legs. All right, so it's gonna be nice and controlled, almost like we're doing a little dance move, all right? If you guys need some rhythm, you can bust this out in the dance floor. All right, here we go. Reverse lunge, dropping back, right there. All right, back, widen your stance, opposite leg. All right, we're just going to kind of flow with it. All right, that's two. Going for ten. Three. If you're not sweating, you're not working hard enough. Come on, push yourself, guys. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Dropping down low. Eight. Knee hovering over the ground. Nine. Let's go for 12. We're adding two. That's easy. Good. One more, and 12, good, awesome guys. So keeping constant tension on the quads. All right, reverse lunges are great because it puts the portion of the weight back towards the heel. All right, if you have any knee issues, this is a great variation, all right? Second thing, we gotta grab a dumbbell. Whew, heart rate is going, let's do it. All right, so what we're gonna do, I have one five pound dumbbell. All right, I'm not worried about really loading weight on this exercise. It's all about the hinge and the stretch. And we're gonna fire it straight up. So we're gonna do a cross body RDL to overhead reach, okay? Here we go. All right, so we're gonna do 10 reps one side, switch arms with 10 reps the other side. All right, so really focusing on a slow eccentric. What that means, going down slow and controlled. All right, if you're looking at me from this side, I'm focused on pushing my hips back, keeping weight on the heel, and then from there, I'm gonna extend up overhead, okay? Let's do it. Butt back, reach, there's one. And then reset, nice and slow every time. Two, really focusing on keeping that dumbbell tight to your body. Three, four, there we go. You should really feel that stretch in the hamstring. Five, six, pushing the butt back. Seven, keeping it back as flat as possible. Eight, nine, and boom, all right, we got one side. All right, so really guys, since we were going down to the left, you should really feel that uh, stretching out the left hamstring. All right, if you're feeling it in your back at all, most likely you're not hinging your butt far enough and you're rounding your back. So really imagine you're keeping a glass of water uh, flat on your back, you're not gonna spill it. 
Keep everything tight and really just pushing through the, uh, the butt back. All right, switching legs, or switch arms. Ready? Reach and extend up. Here's one. Keeping the dumbbell tight to the body. Two. Three. Small knee bend on the way down. Four. You got this, guys. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Last three. Eight. Nine. One more. And there's 10. Good. All right. Pretty easy. Not too bad. All right. We're going on round two. All right. So this time, I know I bumped up to 12 reps. We're going to go for 15 reps. All right. Second set, last set. All right. We're going to push until failure. Let's see what you got. All right. So again, we're going to step backwards into a lunge. All right. Going middle squat, opposite leg lunge. Okay. 15 rounds. Let's do it. There's one. Good. And two. Getting a nice rhythm. Three. That's four. And five. You got this, guys. Come on. Fifteen. Mind on the, the prize. Here we go. You guys got to set your goals. You got to tackle goals every day. Since you're tuning in, you guys are ready to work. You got that New Year's resolution or just any type of fitness goal you're looking to accomplish. Right here's the time. There we go. Let's keep going. Come on. Three more reps. One. Good. Number two. Legs burn. And last rep. Let's do it. And boom. You guys earned a water break. All right. Grab a splash of water. We'll give you about 20 seconds. All right. And we're going to need that dumbbell. Again, cross body RDL to reach. Whew. How we feeling, guys? I know I'm feeling good. Getting my sweat on. I need to after all the holiday eating. All right. All right. So what we're going to do, again, next up, good. Five bits, I'd say about shoulder width base. Small knee bend. That's going to stay fixed. So as you go down, we're not doing a, an RDL or a squat. All right. Straight leg RDL. Ready? And go. Butt back. Cross body. Reach up tall. There's one. Good. Two. Remember, keeping those shoulders in a retracted position the whole time. Three. Four. Five. Left hamstring stretch. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And we got one side done. Good work, guys. Quick little breather. Whew. Working that cardio a little bit. All right, shoulder retracted back, small knee bend, push your butt back, reach, and extend that dumbbell up, looking through your eyes. Here's one. Good. Two. Three. Four. You got this, guys. Mind strong. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Last two. Nine. And boom. Good work, guys. All right, so you keep your dumbbell. We're going to be using it up next. All right, what we're going to do is we're transitioning into some abs, all right? So uh, when you're working out your leg exercises, you know, we're, we're isolating our legs, but your core is also getting involved. All right, right now, we're going to focus on isolating those abs to finish up the workout. All right, we got to get that summer bod ready. I know that's my goal. All right, let's do it together. Here we go. All right, so three exercises is what we're going to do first. We're going to start off with a bear crawl iso, all right, with the dumbbell crossover. So pretty much just like you would be bear crawling right here. All right, we're going to start with the dumbbell across the body. You're going to grab with your opposite arm, place it a little bit outside your shoulder. Once you do that, place that hand down, and you're going to go opposite arm. Place it across, okay? So we're going to do 10 per side, followed up by... Plank hip dips. All right, so you're going to go here, drop the butt towards the ground, bring it back to the center, switch sides. All right, third one. All right, we're going to do a V sit. Right here, feet are up, getting on a recliner chair, starting at your hip, we're going to cross body reach. Okay? So again, starting off with the bear crawl. I have a mat here, a little easier on your hands. 
All right, and then what I'm gonna do, start on that side, but back flat, hips back, ready, and we're gonna pull it across. There's one. Make sure this is not turning your shoulders or your hips. Everything stays stationary. Two. Two. If you wanna make it harder, put a foam roller on your back and try not to let the foam roller fall off. Three, good guys. Whew. Four. Four, it's all about getting comfortable, being uncomfortable. Six. Six, come on. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Last two. Nine. Nine. Ten. And there is ten. Whew, I don't know about you guys, but I felt that a lot in my quads after doing those heels elevate squats. My legs are definitely tired. All right, second thing, go ahead and move your dumbbell out of the way. Maybe wipe your face off if you're looking like me. Whew, if you're not sweating up your uh, living room floor or anything like that. All right, second one's gonna be a plank ISO with a side to side hip dip, all right? So again, planking, butt down. We're gonna rotate our hip down towards the side. All right, bring it back to the middle and then switch. Great one for the abs. All right, also gonna hit the, the obliques. Boom, that's two. Dip the hip. Three. Three. Woo, feeling my sides. Four. Four. Five. Five. Halfway. Six. Dig deep. Let's go. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Last two. Eight. Come on. Nine. Nine, ten, and ten. Whew, that was rough. I'm struggling too, guys. Don't worry. Uh, you know, as a trainer, anything that I put my, my clients through, I've already tried out myself. So I'm right here with you. We're sweating it out together. Let's keep pushing through. We're almost to the end. All right, next one up. Again, a V sit. All right, so almost like a Russian twist formation. What you're going to do is you're going to start with a dumbbell. If you have a medicine ball, that works out well. It's uh, works out great as well. Start down towards the hip. Reach across the body. Hold that for two seconds. All right, keeping the feet off the ground. All right, if you get tired, go ahead, straighten your legs out, and just focus on leaning back. You get a similar effect to it. All right, here we go. Let's work. Cross body. Hold it for two. One, two. Two, two. This one again is targeting the obliques. Three, two. Four. Five. Six. Ooh, it's hard to count and do this. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good work, guys. One side done. All right, it's all about, again, muscle symmetry. So can't neglect the other side. It means we got more reps to do. All right, ten more. Here we go. Right hip. Cross the left body. Two. Three. Looking with your hands where you're, where you're bringing it. It's going to help keep your shoulders in alignment. Four. Five. Come on. I'm going to get tired. Feet down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And we are in a water break. Grab some water. Whew. Core's tight. You're going to leave here feeling good for the rest of the day. All right. We got one more set. Again, if you guys want to make this exercise, uh, the workout routine harder, Feel free, instead of doing two sets of everything, add it to three or four. That will long, uh, lengthen up the workout, and it'll get you guys, again, more results, all right? Let's go back to the first one, all right? So, again, bear crawl ISO with a dumbbell crossover, okay? If you got heavier dumbbells, you want to, again, make it harder, let's up it on the last set. Last round, push it till failure. Ready? All right, so my back's flat, grab the dumbbell, Cross it over. There's one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Yeah, guys, come on. Five. Five. That burning sensation is results. Keep going. Six. Six. Eye on the prize. Come on. Seven. Seven. Eight, eight, nine, let's go. 
nine. We got one more. Ten. And ten. One out of three done. Again, if you're sweating like me, which I hope you are, make sure you don't get all your sweat all over the floor. I'm sure your, uh, your husband or wife wouldn't, wouldn't be too happy about that. Uh, here we go. Up next, plank hip dips. All right, so again, plank iso. Your hips are moving side to side, all right? Ready? The hips don't lie, just like Shakira says, right? There's one. One. Two. Dropping the hip down. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Good, we're halfway. Come on. Six. You can do this. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Last two. Nine. Nine. Ten. And whew. I don't know. Which one do you think is the hardest? Right there. That one's been getting me good. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. One last set. V-sit. Iso. Two crossover. All right. Whew. Here we go. Ten reps each side. You can do this. This is the finale right here. Everything you got left in the tank. Let's do it. Ready? Hip. Cross body. Hold it. There's one. We're on our recliner chair. We're hanging out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hold it. Eight. Nine. And ten. Whew. All right, so we got one side done. Last side right here. All right, if you're on your left side, we're going to the right. Ready? And cross it over. There's one. Almost dropped the dumbbell. Two. Three. Oh, man. Four. Embrace the burn. Embrace the side. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine. And done. Whew. All right, relax. Good job today, guys. Again, my name is Sean. Thank you for tuning in for Power Train On Demand. Hopefully your legs and your core are feeling good and tight. All right, make sure you guys transition, you know, after the workout, focus on health and wellness. Get out, get a nice walk in. You know, make sure you're eating and hydrating your body and keep being the best you can be. Happy uh, New Year, and I wish you guys the best. Have a great day.